Hey, Strike Eagle fans, Natsu is back with you for another tutorial for the F-15 Strike Eagle by Rasbam. Today we're going to do a little bit of uh, air-to-air refueling uh, flying, just to, uh, for those of you maybe that are struggling with uh, getting on the boom and staying there, or those of you that just maybe want to pick up a few more tips just to be a bit smoother. Hopefully this uh, video will help out a little bit uh, to give you some uh, tips and techniques. So what we're doing is we're going to rejoin on a KC-135. Uh, we're uh, about a mile out, and I'll go ahead and let it run so we can uh, catch up to it. So one of the things I'm really looking for is, uh, is my closure. Uh, let me pause this for just a second. Closure is shown here on the, uh, on the HUD, on the, uh, the radar scale, uh, and that's one of the things we mainly use as we're, uh, as we're getting in close. You can see it's really low right now because I'm pointed uh, aft of the uh, tanker. In other words, I'm in lag. I can control that without a lot of throttle usage by pulling him either pure, putting him right on the nose right uh, with the water line right on, on the TD box, or pull the nose out and lead, and that'll change the closure pretty, pretty good. And once I get in close, it's one of the things I want to do is use uh, geometry, if able, if the tanker's in a turn, uh, to uh, make that happen. Obviously, if he's flying a straight line, uh, that doesn't work as well. So you can see as I start pulling the nose up, I'll go ahead and get the uh, the tanker. Excuse me, I'll go ahead and get the tanker. Uh, one, one, Pontiac, one, one. Request rejoin. So you can see just as I'm pulling the nose in further and further into lead, I, I can increase or decrease the. Um, uh, closure rate, uh, and once I'm inside of about a half mile, I don't want to be more than about 50 to 60 knots closure, just to have a nice, comfortable um, closure rate with the tanker, so I'm not uh, overrunning him and having to use a bunch of brakes and, uh, and get out of position. Once inside of about a third of a mile, I don't need the radar anymore, so I'm going to just fly all this visually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move out here into the, the left side pre, I'm sorry, the left side observation position. And I'll show you what that observation position looks like as we get in nice and comfortably. The key here is you don't want to be fast. Notice I'm not making big throttle movements. I'm just taking my time. I'm sliding in nice and slowly just so you don't scare yourself or scare the guys on the tanker. So as we get uh, up here on the wing, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to line the two wing tips, uh, draw a straight line between them right to my eye. And then the other uh, thing I'll use as a reference is put the nav light right on these uh, uh, EPU exhaust ports or the, uh, or the, the escape door on the, uh, on the right side. It's basically the same exact thing. So that's my forward and aft. And then up and down, I'm going to use the nacelle on the far side. Uh, to, to judge my up and down. So I, what I want is I want it just barely peeking over the fuselage about uh, just over the top. So as I slide down, you'll, uh, you'll see that. I start sliding back in. So right now I've got my uh, forward and aft uh, pretty well nailed. I'm maybe just a tiny bit aft. So let's come forward a little bit. That's looking really good. You don't have to be super tight on the tanker. You, we're not flying in the weather. So let's take one more quick stab at it. So lining up that nav light on the, uh, on the uh, EPUs, drawing a straight line from the wingtips to my eyes, and then that little uh, nacelle is just barely peeking over. About right there is just about perfect in terms of up and down. I'm a little bit further forward now just to show you the extremes of the position. About right there is perfect. And now we're going to go ahead and slide back to the boom. What I'm going to demonstrate here is, is a common mistake. Uh, by pulling the throttles a little bit too much, we slide too far aft, and now we get stuck uh, a little bit too far in trail. And that's going to cause me to use a lot of power. I'm basically in mill right now, trying to get back up to the tanker. It's not a big deal. You can always just slowly get back in. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, go up to the observation position one more time. 
and then we'll uh, we'll do the uh, slide back down this time a little bit more controlled because we really want to uh, slide down to uh, end up pretty much right in the pre-contact position maybe a tiny bit further aft but not more than about a, a ship length back from the boom so let's go back into the observation and we'll get a good look at what it looks like So about right there is perfect for forward and aft. And if we come up just a little bit, uh, we'd be in the perfect up and down. So let's show you that. About right there with that nacelle just barely peeking over the uh, the top of the fuselage. That gentleman and ladies was the uh, pretty much the, the textbook observation position. This time now we're going to pull the throttles back a little bit and then put them right back in as soon as we see that. Uh, aft movement uh, just to control our uh, movement backwards so we're not so far back. Notice what I've done is I've got the um, uh, vert scan now set and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that right on the wing root of the uh, of the, um, the fuselage and the wing uh, and that's going to be my uh, reference for left and right. AR door is open because I've got the ready light so when that ready light goes out that means the, the uh, I've either closed the door or the boom is plugged. What I want to do is I want to put the boom pretty much right at eye level, and now we're just going to do a nice slow walk uh, into the boom. Key here is I'm flying formation, so notice I'm in VR, and my head is now focused pretty much right on the bottom of the fuselage. So we've stabilized at the pre-contact position. Let's go ahead and let them know. Now you can start your slow walk in again using the vert scan right on the wing root, and keeping that same reference as I as I move further in. When I end up, what I want to do is I want to have the uh, canopy bow pretty much right on the forward part of the pod, and then this uh, right nacelle is uh, just under the bottom of the canopy bow. So I'm a little too high right now. Let's go down and a little bit aft now. So I'm plugged. Notice the light goes out. So now we're pretty much right at the perfect spot. So I've got my uh, the top of my canopy bow, the aft part is just kind of in the middle. I'm a little further forward than I want to be. I want to put this canopy boat kind of right in the middle of the boom pod. And then this nacelle is going to be uh, pretty much showing through the bottom of the, uh, the canopy bow. Again, trying to make real small movements. As I realize that I'm a little too far forward, pull the throttle aft. And then put the, the power right back in just to catch it so I don't slide way back. Again, nice, smooth, but... Uh, uh, deliberate throttle movements will keep in place. Looks like I've disconnected here. Let's get stabilized and we'll let the uh, the boomer plug us again. So it looks like I'm in a good spot right now. I've got the nacelle just below the canopy bow. Canopy bow is just right at the boom pod. Coming forward just a little bit now. What I'm not doing is I'm not looking at the lights. These I find are worthless especially during the daytime. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fly just a reference off the belly of the airplane using those couple visual cues that we talked about. And it, any self-respected boomer would have plugged me now. The, the one in DCS is a big wuss. Contact. This looks like he's got me plugged now. You're taking fuel. Nice smooth throttle movements. Big thing is when you make a, a correction, put the throttle right back in as soon as you uh, see. And I almost don't even wait to see the movement. I, I make the throttle correction and then start putting it right back in because by the time you see the correction moving uh, or working it's almost too late by the time you put it back in so watch the throttle I'm putting it in taking it right back out putting it in taking it right back out so that's kind of holds me in that position and that's uh, that's pretty nice I'm probably trending a little too far forward but not too bad again canopy bow is kind of at the uh, at covering up the boom pod uh, just forward of the window I've got the uh, nacelle just below the, the canopy bow with the uh, uh, center of the um, vert scan line pretty much right at the, uh, at the wing root. Again, this is a little bit of a skewed perspective from a, from a VR standpoint. The middle of the HUD would pretty much be right there uh, at the, uh, the wing root. But that's uh, just kind of that VR goggle recording perspective, so don't pay too much attention to that. Trust the references, uh, and it'll work very nicely. 
try not to overcorrect. So I, I've deliberately come out just so we can do another. I'm going to go back out to the uh, pre-contact position. So we can show you one more time. Yep. Getting pretty close to being full. So now start moving back into pre-contact. Put the boom right at eye level. Vert scan line right on the, the uh, intersection of the fuselage and wing root. Start slowly walking in. No rush. Nice walking speed. And just trying to control everything with real gentle movements. What I try to do, depending on how you guys have your uh, HOTES set up, I've got a uh, SIM chair, so what I do is I have my chair set so I can rest my whole arm on my uh, right thigh. And now I'm basically just doing little movements with my fingers uh, to control that. Uh, if I've got my arm uh, doing basically a big chicken wing out in space, I find it's really easy to over control it. Okay, that's my bad getting into a little bit of PIO as I'm trying to talk. So let's smooth this down. Again, nice smooth movements of the throttle. Anytime I make a correction, it goes right back in. And if you're struggling, don't ever, don't ever be afraid to uh, go back out to the pre-contact position or even back out to the wing in the observation position. Uh, relax, uh, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and, and take, take a break because uh, you can definitely cramp up. So it's never... And guys do this in real life. If, if they're struggling on the boom, one of the first things the lead will tell them is, hey, go back to the wing or, or go back about a mile trail. Take your hands off the stick, wiggle your fingers, uh, and then try again. So there's no shame in, uh, in falling off. Guys do it all the time in real life, even guys that are experienced. Okay. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. That's a nice, that's a nice uh, refueling position. Let's take a look at it from the outside. That's looking nice and steady. You pr pretty much want to be right. Uh, if you put the, uh, the very end of that little boom shroud, uh, right where that little green apple is in the center of the green bands or the center of the green solid area, that's pretty much your, uh, your perfect position. I'm in a little bit, little bit of a PIO here, and I'm trying not to overcorrect to, uh, to not fall off the boom, which I just did, as I'm trying to talk as I, as I fly. Okay, so I'm doing exactly what I said. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go back out to the pre-contact position. Relax my hands a little bit. Take my hands off the stick, wiggle my fingers, and then we'll go ahead and give it another try. Again, no shame whatsoever in uh, coming off the boom if you're, if you're getting into a PIO and then uh, just settling down and trying it again. Number one thing is this is a formation flying exercise. Don't get too enamored with the lights. Once the boom passes my head, I don't look at the boom anymore. I'm now focused on the bottom of the fuselage using those references that I talked about. I'm going to put the uh, canopy bow, pretty much the, the, the aft edge of that is going to be kind of in the middle of the boom, just forward of the windows. The uh, nacelle is going to be uh, just sticking below the bottom of the, uh, can the, the, bottom of the canopy bow. See how this this leading this trailing edge right here is pretty much at the uh, uh, kind of the middle of the solid part of the boom, just forward of the windows, just waiting on the uh, crappy uh, DCS boomer to plug me. Again, U.S. Uh, U.S. Uh, crusty old boomers are probably screaming at this picture, going, "Whoa, that is sucks! I would have plugged him a mile ago because uh, those guys are super good." All right, so that'll be my uh, last time in the boom. Looking really nice here. Finally got settled down a little bit. Getting a little too close. Easing out. Again, making little tiny corrections. But otherwise, uh, pretty stable on that. All right, guys, that's it. That's uh, not so doing a little bit of air-to-air -air refueling. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and uh, I will uh, start working on my next video soon. Thank you for watching my channel. I appreciate the support, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Nazos out. See ya.